Hi guys! Welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Madalina and this is my channel and if this is your first visit and you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right under this video and the notification bell button right next to it because you want to know when I upload new videos which is every Friday and sometimes Mondays. And uh, today I have another recipe for you and it's a sweet one. And I think that you were expecting it because, as I said in the grocery haul video, I have something with some of the products that I bought then. Um, I made some peanut butter with the peanuts and uh, I made a apple kiwi tart tatin with a chickpea flour crust. And uh, it's a mouthful to say it, but it's even better to eat it. So let's see how I did it. As always you have here all your ingredients for a print screen and let's see them too. You're gonna need for the crust chickpea flour, peanut butter that I made with some unsalted peanuts and you can see it's so creamy and delicious some unrefined brown sugar it's for the crust and for the filling and for the filling you're gonna need apples that I peeled and cored and cut in quarters kiwis peeled and I'm gonna cut them in quarters juice from a lemon some cinnamon powder and some vanilla extract or you can use vanilla beans and this is all are all your ingredients oh and for kneading your crust you're gonna need some ice cold water the colder the better and let's start with the crust you're gonna need three quarters of a cup or 90 grams of chickpea flour 65 grams of peanut butter unsalted and uh, this is one quarter of a cup I prefer to use grams because it's more exact every time than using cups and 30 grams of sugar or two tablespoons and mix this very well and uh, add one or two teaspoons of water cold water as I already said until you have um, pliable yet firm dough and uh, you're gonna refrigerate that dough until you cut your kiwis, apples, whatever and uh, at least half an hour you need to keep it into the refrigerator for at least half an hour and uh, then quarter your kiwis I prefer to let them in quarters because you need bigger chunks and to actually make the filling mix your sugar with lemon juice and vanilla and cinnamon and then add your apples mix everything and I forgot to add the vanilla and the cinnamon in the beginning so I'm gonna add them now then uh, add your kiwis too and you're gonna cook covered with a lid until everything gets steamy and then cook without your lid until your apples start to get soft on the edges but the center it's still firm like this it still has to be firm in the center and then let's make our crust just roll your dough I could have rolled it but I prefer to press it with my hand you can do whatever so yeah and it has to be a little bit bigger than the surface of your dish and then add your apples and kiwis your fruit filling uh, in the dish that you're gonna bake everything that's why I said that your apples need to be still firm in the middle because you're gonna bake this and then add your liquid over and add your crust on the top and he said that it has to be bigger because you have to press it and bake everything for 25 
to 30 minutes on medium heat and then flip it take it out flip it and this is how it's gonna look it tastes really well it's fragrant it's a bit sweet and a bit with a bit of acidity so you have to try it it's delicious it's cheap and easy to make so this was my tart and uh, as you can see it's easy to make it's cheap and right now the kiwis are quite cheap so that's why i tried this combination and i loved it so that's why i made it for you too because it's something different and it's tasty and it's a bit it's a little bit sour but just a little bit just to give it a kick and it's sweet in the rest of the time and it's delicious so try it and uh, if you try this recipe let me know you have my instagram facebook stuff like this in the description box below and uh, if you try it take some pictures or other recipes if you like not only this i have a ton of recipes here and even more to come so yeah this is what i had for this week i hope that you like it and as you can see you have sweet stuff without any cruelty and they are delicious and quite healthy and uh, i hope that you like it thank you very much for watching i hope that you're subscribed if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button right under this video and the notification because if you don't hit the notification button youtube is not gonna show you my videos all the time it's uh, crazy so hit the notification button too and uh, i'm gonna see you next video okay thank you very much again see you next time and uh, bye go vegan <laughs>